Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a bit off the charts, but I think it needs to be talked about and it's something which not a lot of people talk about, which is kind of annoying because this is something which is a problem which goes on like all the time and if you can't see by the title, it's called drama and I'm not trying to call anyone out, but hear me out. This is a very important message. The video gives a very important message. And before you leave those comments, oh, you start drama all the time, you're rich to talk, oh. Just, just listen to this video before you comment those kind of stuff. And you know a lot of people are going to comment stuff like that. But that's just going to prove my point even more because you're not investigating what's the problem. So to start off, I'm going to be talking about good and bad drama. If you just call everything drama, then obviously <coughs> you have no sense of what is right and wrong. Uh, good drama is usually stuff which is like a disagreement where people don't get along but it's still not bad because something which would be bad is something like news or reporting a rapist or something really serious. That is probably considered bad drama. Now I don't usually like to use drama because drama could mean anything really. So I usually, when it comes to good, I would always call it a disagreement. If I call it, if it's a bad, then I would call it, I would probably call it, I don't know what I would call it. I would probably just call it whatever it is, because if it is that serious, then you don't need to go along by it with drama. Because when you think about drama, you think about two people having a disagreement. <sighs> but yeah. And then my second point is, uh, <clears throat> when, it, when we're talking about drama, uh, I don't like it when people insult each other slash roasting because you're basically the only thing you're doing is offending people and what's, what, what's the fun with offending people? Like what if you got offended? What if someone made fun of your hair? Let's say your hair didn't look so good today and people started making fun of you for that. That's kind of insulting and I don't think people should do that and apparently the internet thinks that's okay. Which is pathetic. Anyway, moving on. Um, a lot of these people tend to not care as you can see just by how much they insult people but the worst thing is that the people who are not even who are not even included or doesn't or who, or who don't give their standard point they simply don't care they pretend they have invis they're invisible and they're not included in anything and i live in a separate world with these human beings and that's okay sometimes sometimes people are really rude and you just don't want to be with them and that's okay but then there are those times where people need their help people are getting bullied but you're that person who doesn't care about anything who pretends that there's a brick wall in between the, the walls of the drama and you just like Donald Trump built the wall between America and, US and Mexico so kind of think about that now we're gonna start by talking about things about me those things were just about the general points I don't think I really talked about too much, but I don't, this video is not going to be too long, I, I'm not here to rant or anything, I'm just here to give the general honesty about drama. So now we're going to be talking about stuff which includes me. Um, and now, <clears throat> like I said earlier, I get to love things which probably are not right in anyone's books, but people seem to not care. And I completely understand that sometimes you don't want to be included in some kind of drama because then someone's going to get hurt and blah blah blah. And I totally understand that. If you see that someone's getting bullied and someone needs their help or some kind of... Just by you saying your opinion is enough. And then if those people keep insulting you, then you can block them. At least you gave your opinion. At least you helped the guy who was getting bullied. If you're not, if you're just gonna stand there, put a brick wall in front of you, that's not helpful to anyone. That's really not helpful to anyone. So I really hate that when people do that to me. Pretend like I'm some kind of person who doesn't have feelings, who someone can just punch me and that's completely okay. I'm not appreciating that one bit. And I know someone, I'm not gonna say her name, there's gonna be someone who's gonna be like, oh my god, you're so good, oh my god, preach, preach girl, preach. But then in reality, they don't do anything. So I think it's very important that you do action. I obviously appreciate everyone who is supporting this video or supports me in general. I'm just saying, if you do action, actions speak louder than words. 
So make sure that you stand up to that statement as well. Um, <clears throat> and then my next point is people care more about the drama itself than someone's feelings and then use the word drama instead of investigating the case. What I mean by that is people care more about the drama than actually someone's feelings, which is kind of hypocritical because the whole point is that we want to make everyone happy. If you don't want to make any, if you're not wanting to make anyone happy, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk with you because if you're not going to make people happy, well, not make people happy, but let people feel happiness, then there's really no much point in this world, I guess. So if you're not going to make me happy or satisfied, I really don't want to be around you because what's the point of being around someone who isn't satisfying you, who isn't making you happy, it's just not worth it and I don't want to be around people like that. And then it always happens that they usually care about how much drama you have been included, how much you have affected the community, when in reality it's just you who's blabbering and blabbering about something which is not even necessary. Like what? Like. Is there gonna be like the future's gonna have like drama points? How many points? How many dramas have you been today? For each drama you have been today, you get one point. If you started three dramas in one day, three points. If you started blah 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 and continuing like that, that's so stupid. And then the thing I was talking about, people just use drama in anything they can use it. Drama. That's drama. This is drama. That's drama. This is drama. This is drama. 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 Like, the word basically doesn't have any meaning anymore because people overuse it too much. And I know that drama was a big thing back in 2015, but people still use the word drama in anything they can use it. But in reality, what they should be doing is they should be investigating the case. The problem, obviously. And obviously, some people are going to still put that brick wall in front of them and still call people drama. That's like as bad as anything. So I think people need to investigate the case, who is being offended, who is the victim, who is the predator, and stop the predator and feel sympathy for the victim. That's what they should do. And obviously people are going to have opinions and stuff, and that's clearly okay because that's a good drama. That's good drama to have opinions. So I think I, I proved that point. Make sure you investigate the case before pushing your <clears throat> throwing drama everywhere. And the last point is, which I think most people are probably going to be wondering, but Mumzo, why do you not just block these people who, are, who harass you and bully you? Well, the thing is, I do do that. It's not like I've never done it. I've always done it. When I started Twitter, I used to never block people because I thought actually that everyone was really nice and they were just in some kind of bad tone. But if you look at the, the, the internet now, like, you're gonna see that there's so many toxic people, and they deserve to be blocked most of the time. Sure, there can be some um, people I blocked who, who didn't really deserve it, but it's like, it's for my own happiness. And yeah, that's what I prioritize. And I do block people who harass me. And lately I've been maybe in some more drama points, let's talk about that. But like, honestly... Most of the time the drama is about me giving my opinion and then people taking that opinion, unrolling it and using that as some kind of insult towards them when generally I don't like to insult people. It's just not me. I don't like to go to someone, hey, you're a fuckhead and I don't like you. I don't say that. Do you see me say that? No, I don't go around saying those kind of words. So please don't don't accuse me of things that I haven't started. I have a very, if I don't have a statement which I can stand by, I will either leave or say I'm wrong. That's just, that's just how it's gonna go down. And most of the time it's just me saying something I agree on and you don't agree on, and that's good drama in my opinion. But then there are times where I expect you guys to jump in and say your opinion as well, because that shows that you guys appreciate. Just by you giving one comment, one opinion, or one, preach statement that just shows that you guys care and that's kind of what i want from you guys if you're a friend or a fan i kind of expect this from you and i understand that you expect this from me and i wouldn't mind giving this to you so thank you so much for watching this video <coughs> i hope you've learned something from this my name is bonzo and i'll see you guys later